The Detroit Lions got it wrong. They got it wrong when they passed on Marvin Lewis. You know, Marvin Lewis is an established coach that's had a winning track record all throughout his time in the National Football League. And a lot of people will say, well, he never won a playoff game. But let me ask you this. What has Cincinnati done since Marvin Lewis left? They've been the worst team in the NFL. And that shows you how important Marvin Lewis was for the Bengals. And not only that, all those people that say he never won a playoff game, they forget this. It's not easy to win in Cincinnati. You know, free agents rather be in New York, Miami, or Los Angeles. You know, so it's hard to recruit to Cincinnati. I, I'm willing to bet that you can sell Detroit over Cincinnati. You know, we have Motown, we have Culture, and it's Detroit Rock City, and we have great boating in the summertime. Detroit's an easier sell than Cincinnati is. So it's crazy to me that the Lions, you know, just passed on a guy that was clearly more qualified. I watched Dan Campbell's stint with the Miami Dolphins. He was overwhelmed in that situation. He had a 5-7 and seven record. He's got a losing record, you know, and he's clearly going to be in over his head with the Lions as well. Marvin Lewis was a much easier choice to make. You know, 131 career wins for Marvin Lewis. I would have liked to build on that. He's the right leader for this football team, so it's tough to see him overlooked. And I want to know, why isn't Barry Sanders in charge of the team? You know, the team rushes to hire Chris Spielman to be an advisor, and, you know, they just completely overlook Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is the best player this organization has ever had. He's a Hall of Famer. You know, why isn't he the GM? Why isn't he given uh, his input? You want to rush to Chris Spielman and just run right by Barry Sanders. That makes zero sense to me. Why isn't Kelvin Johnson included in all the decision making? You know, a guy that's going to go to the Hall of Fame someday. I know the, the team and Kelvin Johnson haven't been on good terms, but that's a strike against the team, not against Kelvin Johnson. He did everything he could for them. They failed Kelvin Johnson. Kelvin Johnson didn't fail the Lions. So it's just frustrating to see this happen. And, you know, let's not forget back in 1989, a guy named Al Davis took a risk. At the time, people had bad mindsets and bad beliefs, but Al Davis decided that he didn't care that there was zero African-American head coaches in the National Football League. He believed in Art Shell, so he didn't care what everyone else thought. He didn't care what everyone else was doing. He believed in Art Shell, and that's all that mattered. And, you know, if the Lions would have opened up their history book and did their home homework, they would have learned the lesson. But instead, you know, they go with Dan Campbell, a guy that isn't nearly as qualified as Marvin Lewis. It's so frustrating to see. And, you know, on this side, we have, you know, Al Davis and Art Shell, who, you know, they were doing something groundbreaking. It was revolutionizing the sport, but not only the sport, it was going to change the way people think and behave outside of football. So you, you could tell it was something special before a snap was even played just because it was so courageous what Al Davis was doing. And then look at the Lions situation with Sheila Ford Hamp, Rod Wood, uh, Chris Spielman, and Dan Campbell. It feels like a lame duck situation. You could feel it with Al Davis and Art Shell. You can't feel any of that with what the Lions are doing right now. It's just so frustrating. I don't know what this team's doing. All the Lions have shown me is they're the same old Lions. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.